Good afternoon, you too. It's your brother in Christ, Francois Campbell. I greet you all in the peace of the Lord. Um, I've been having a few dreams. I did not fully understand what they mean. So I didn't really want to make a video as I couldn't properly interpret the dreams. But I figured maybe someone else out there is having similar dreams. And maybe they have an interpretation or they, they are an interpreter of dreams. So they could just message me a little, you know, DM to let me know what, what, what they think these dreams mean or what the Lord is telling them that these dreams mean. So um, the first one is I've had about three of these in the last week that I'm actually getting washed. That's right, brothers and sisters, I'm in a bathtub. The first dream, um, there was a gathering. People was having parties. They were celebrating Jamaica. Being that I was born in Jamaica, they saw me passing and they was like, come Francois, you're not going to come celebrate. And I'm saying, listen, I'm a, I'm a Hebrew anyway. I'm African. I'm, 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 I'm not even classing myself as Jamaican anymore. I don't have time for this stuff. I need to go. I got this thing to go and do here. And they was all telling me, come, come. And I was like, nah. So anyway, I eventually um, didn't go the way they was going. I went my own way. And I found myself in a bath and I was washing myself. Now it's funny because I already felt clean. I thought I was clean. But in order to get to where I was going, I had to pass through the bath. So I'm in the bath and I'm washing. And I'm seeing all this dirt come off. <laughs> yeah, whatever. So I'm seeing all this dirt come off and the bathtub is black around the rims. And I'm seeing blue colours and yellow colours. And I'm like, I don't see no yellow dirt on me. And what's, what's all this blue dirt? And anyway, so I get out of the bath and I find myself to be clean. I look in the bath, it's actually filthy. I'm a bit embarrassed, but at the end of the day, this is not a real life bath. I feel like that was a spiritual bath I was having. I had to get my soul, my spirit cleansed. Amen. And then so I had left and I had went through a gate. I'd woken up. A few days later, I had another dream that I was in a bath again. And I was washing and I was washing. And I was cleaning my insides and my outsides in the bath. It was funny. I was just cleaning everything and everywhere. Amen. And so that was the second dream I had about the bath. The third dream. <coughs> excuse me. I was, I was outside. And I looked up. And I saw like six moons. But there was like a cloud. There was clouds trying to block the moon. Sorry, I just had my dinner. There was clouds about blocking the moon. You understand? And I'm saying, why is there six? And the moons was all parallel. They was all in a line. And to the end of the six moons was the sun shining brightly. But um, the moons was all parallel lined up. And um, I remember thinking, what is this? It don't make no sense. How is there six moons? So anyway, I felt in my spirit that the clouds covering up was the government trying to hide what was going on or what they was actually up, up to at the time. So, and I believe that the, the seventh sun, which wasn't the moon, was actually the Lord Jesus. And I believe that he was telling me that time is up, time is up, time is short. Are you clean? Are you ready? Amen. And I remember saying, if time's up, then the Lord could tell us time's up. In his head, time is up, time is up mean, could mean one hour left. It could mean one year left. It could mean one month. I don't know. So I, I was in the dream and I was like, okay, so 40 years for the Lord is one hour. So 20 years is half an hour. And 10 years would have been 15 minutes. So 5 years would have been like 7.5 minutes. Which means 2.5 years would have been 3.5 minutes. And half of 3.5 minutes is, is, is 1.5 minute, which is... Two and a half years, half of two and a half years is a month and about six months, which would have been about a minute and a half for the Lord. And then probably about 75 seconds would be in about six months. And I was trying to do this maths. And I was like, no matter what maths I do, no man knows the date or the hour. Be prepared. So I rushed inside and I was in the bath again. I'm washing myself with this soap. And now I realized this soap was a symbol of the Holy Spirit because we don't have the strength to cleanse and prepare ourselves. Amen. So I'm washing myself. I'm saying you look got the soap, you don't want to be you don't need to be clean. To be clean. And while I was doing this, there was helicopters outside. There was flying low, like there was a war coming or something. I don't really know. But 
these are the dreams I've been having, being washed, being prepared. It's like I was going somewhere, but I wasn't fully dressed, I wasn't fully clean, I wasn't fully ready. And I believe the Lord's telling me, A, is coming soon, and B, destruction is coming to this land, and three, is the body of Christ really ready for what's coming? A, B, three, hmm. A, B, C, A, two, D. Anyway, you know what I'm saying, people, this is not even funny. Like, I'm just in the joy of the Lord, this is why I'm smiling so much. Um, but it's serious. The Lord says he's coming back for a church without spot or blemish, without a wrinkle on our garments. We need to check ourselves. We need to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to us anything that we're doing that he's not cool with. Amen. We ask to be filled with the Holy Spirit so we can fully cleanse ourselves to be ready so that we don't miss the rapture. Amen. Because once we miss the rapture, that is it. I don't know where these teachings come from about once you miss the rapture, you can you can have your head chopped off to go to heaven. You won't even have the strength to face such situations because once the Holy Spirit is gone, the God is gone. The Holy Spirit is gone. We're going to get the strength to do that. Death will be gone. Amen. The Lord was showing me what this fake pastor has been preaching about once the Holy Spirit is gone and the rapture is gone, you have another chance. There's no more chance. The Lord asked me, did, 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 not, did Noah in Noah's days, when he closed the door of the ark, was there a second chance for anyone? In Sodom and Gomorrah when he said, don't look, was there a second chance for anyone? There will not be no second chance. So please, brothers and sisters, amen. I believe war is coming because that guy, I don't know, the army general that they killed, they want to retaliate. Sister Kerry Ann Gidden on YouTube, she's speaking about these things. The Lord's giving her dreams and visions. And he's been showing me my own little teachings. War is coming to the land. Amen. The Lord is coming back for his church. Tribulation is coming to this land. Are we ready? Are we prepared? Please make sure your garments are clean and your soul is cleansed and you feel the Holy Spirit. Don't let the oil in your lamp run out. Let's be prepared for the Lord's return. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all.